Would you believe that in Saudi Arabia, water costs more than oil? Yep, you heard that right. In this nation, water is a rare and precious commodity, contrasting sharply with the widespread availability and low cost of oil. Intrigued to know why and what this means for the lives of Saudi citizens? Stick with me as we dive into 20 unique quirks of this incredible place. The 20th intriguing point is Mecca, the heart of Islam, situated in Saudi Arabia. This place is the most revered by Muslims because it's where you'll find the Kaaba, the epicenter of the Islamic faith. Every year, millions of devotees take part in the Hajj, a spiritual journey every Muslim must undertake at least once, or the Umrah, which is an optional pilgrimage. Mecca has exclusive access for Muslims, with strict monitoring to prevent non-Muslims from entering. Now the 19th aspect is the practice of Salat, one of the most essential obligations of Muslims, involving praying five times a day facing Mecca. These prayers are done at specific times, Fajr, before dawn, Zur, midday, ASR, afternoon, Maghrib, evening, and Isha, night. Each prayer consists of sets of movements and recitations called rakat, which vary in number from two to four. Before praying, Muslims perform ablutions to purify themselves. Salat brings multiple spiritual benefits, such as connecting with God, realizing His omnipresence, enhancing spiritual discipline, and strengthening community bonds. The 18th fascinating fact is about the Arabian Desert, also known as the Empty Quarter, stretching across much of Saudi Arabia and ranking as the world's largest desert. Covering roughly 2.3 million square kilometers, this desert offers a spectacle of dunes, mountains, oases, and even volcanoes. Moreover, it's a rich ecosystem, home to species like the oryx, gazelle, fennec fox, known as the desert fox, falcons, and camels. The 17th highlight takes us to the peculiar camel beauty contest. In Saudi Arabia, camels aren't just useful, but also hold significant cultural and economic value. Annually, the King Abdulaziz Camel Festival takes place, celebrating the aesthetic of these animals by evaluating them based on criteria such as size, shape, coloration, and even facial expression. Contest winners are awarded extravagant prizes, reflecting the high value some camels hold in the country. The 16th item discusses the old ban that prevented Saudi women from driving, a rule exclusive to Saudi Arabia until 2018. Based on a conservative interpretation of Islamic law, the restriction implied that women should always be accompanied by a man. However, after intense efforts from activists and global pressure, King Salman issued a decree that finally allowed Saudi women to obtain their driver's licenses and drive on their own. In the 15th point, we tackle the curiosity that cinema is a relatively recent phenomenon in Saudi Arabia. For many years, watching movies in cinemas was banned in the country, seen as Western entertainment incompatible with Islamic principles. This restriction ended in 2018 with the opening of the first cinema hall, marking the beginning of a new era. Since then, over 30 cinema halls have sprung up across the territory, although movies are still rigorously selected to adhere to the country's cultural and censorship standards. The 14th point highlights the giant clock located in Jeddah, part of the Abraj al Bayt Tower, which is the fourth tallest skyscraper in the world. This clock, standing at 143 meters tall with faces stretching 40.3 meters each, is the largest in the world. During the night, it glows with over 2 million LEDs and can be seen from up to 25 kilometers away. It not only tells the time according to the Islamic calendar, but also calls the faithful to the daily prayers five times a day. In the 13th spot, we have Saudi Arabia's initiative to create Neom, a visionary city set to be the world's first car-free city. Planned to be a model of intelligence, sustainability, and ecology, Neom will operate entirely on renewable energy and feature an ultra-modern public transportation system. This innovative city, covering a vast area of 26,500 square kilometers, promises a climate regulated by drones and more liberal policies, such as permitting alcohol consumption and allowing swimwear like bikinis, differing from traditional Saudi norms. Number 12. Sakaka, a surprising city in Saudi Arabia, defies expectations by being one of the coldest inhabited spots on the globe. Situated in the arid and scorching Saudi territory, this city lies in the far north, adjacent to Jordan. 
Contrary to the common perception of the country, Sakaka recorded a historic minimum temperature of minus 50 degrees Celsius on February 5, 2023. Characterized by a climate of extremes, it experiences scorching summers and harsh winters, along with significant temperature fluctuations between day and night. Number 11. Gender segregation norms in Saudi Arabia reflect the country's deep conservatism in social and religious aspects, especially in interactions between men and women. In various public areas such as schools, hospitals, banks, and restaurants, there are specific gender divisions or restrictions, with separate designated areas for men and women, or even bans on women's access. Women are required to wear the abaya, a long black robe that covers the entire body, along with a veil that conceals the hair and, on some occasions, the face. Number 10. In Saudi Arabia, there's a specific entity called the Commission for the Promotion of Virtue and Prevention of Vice, CPV, which acts as the religious police. This commission is tasked with ensuring adherence to Islamic law, having the authority to detain, fine, or sanction individuals who violate Islamic moral principles. This includes activities such as consuming alcohol, listening to music, interacting with people of the opposite sex without proper protocols, or neglecting prayers at prescribed times. Number 9. Saudi Arabia takes a strict stance against witchcraft, treating it as a serious offense with severe penalties. The country has convicted several individuals on charges of involvement in black magic, fortune-telling, or witchcraft. Additionally, many others have been detained on suspicion of engaging in practices considered occult or superstitious. Number 8. Dominating Saudi Arabia's economic scene is oil, its most precious jewel. The country holds the title of the world's largest oil exporter, controlling 18% of proven global reserves. This black gold forms the backbone of the Saudi economy, responsible for 90% of government revenues and 40% of the GDP. Thanks to the wealth generated by oil, Saudi Arabia has managed to establish an advanced and diversified economy, ensuring its inhabitants a high standard of living and access to quality public services in areas such as education, health and housing, many of which are free or heavily subsidized. Number 7. The ideological heart of Saudi Arabia is Wahhabism, an austere and conservative form of Sunni Islam. This movement advocates for a strict and literal interpretation of Islamic scriptures, dismissing any practices considered innovations or external influences as heretical or deviant. Besides profoundly shaping religious, political and cultural life in the country, Wahhabism exerts its influence globally through financial support to educational and religious institutions, as well as through the dissemination of its doctrines via media and education. Number 6. In the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the throne is the epicenter of power, with absolute monarchy intertwined in the figure of the king, who holds the roles of head of state, government and faith. The monarch, from the Al Saud dynasty that has ruled the country since its foundation in 1932, has the authority to appoint ministers, enact or veto laws, declare war or peace, and command the armed forces and security forces. Within the extensive royal family, which comprises approximately 15,000 members, around 2,000 hold key positions, exerting significant influence on the nation's destiny. Number 5. In the Saudi political system, political parties and unions are non-existent, as are national elections or a democratic parliament. The Shura Council, a body of 150 members selected by the king, acts as an advisory entity that can discuss and suggest legislation, but lacks the power to implement them. The political sphere offers few options for citizen participation, with municipal elections occurring every four years as the sole avenue for democratic expression in the country, where only men over 21 years old have the right to vote. Number 4. Saudi Arabia's economy is notably supported by the international workforce, with approximately 12 million of its 34 million inhabitants being foreigners. These workers, many originating from Asian and African nations, are pillars in vital sectors such as construction, domestic services, agriculture, and trade. To work in Saudi Arabia, these foreigners require a local sponsor and are regulated by the kafala system, which restricts job changes or leaving the country without the employer's approval. Number 3. Contrary to the perception of uniformity, Saudi Arabia reveals a rich tapestry of cultures and ethnicities. Its diverse regions boast distinct identities, 
with variations in dialects, culinary traditions, and customs. The country's social fabric includes Bedouins, Afro-Arabs, Asians, Caucasians, and Saudi Arabs. In addition to the predominant Islamic presence, there are also religious minority groups such as Shiites, Sufis, Christians, and Jews, who often practice their beliefs in a context of clandestinity or under restrictions. Number 2. Saudi Arabia is a treasure trove of historical and natural beauty, marking its position as the heart of Islam and a meeting point for various cultures throughout history. Among its treasures, five sites recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Sites stand out, including the ancient archaeological site of al hijr Madan Saleh, the vibrant historic district of Jeddah, the ancient rock carvings in Juba, and the lush oasis of al -Assa. The diversity of its natural environment is equally impressive, spanning from the lush mountains in the south to the idyllic beaches of the Red Sea, not to mention the productive valleys in the heart of the country and the secluded desert islands of the Persian Gulf. Number 1. In Saudi Arabia, water scarcity turns this resource into something more valuable than oil. The country's cities sprout up in the desert like modern mirages, yet the struggle for water is constant. The only water sources are deep wells and extensive desalination processes, making every milliliter of water extremely precious. For farmers, the challenge is immense, requiring constant innovation in irrigation techniques to sustain life in arid lands. Natural oases are coveted rarities, and palm trees stand out for their resilience, with roots that stretch in search of moisture. Saudi Arabia, aware of the criticality of this resource, houses some of the largest desalination facilities on the planet, capable of producing over 4.6 million cubic meters of drinking water daily, meeting nearly 20% of the national demand. However, even with such capacity, water remains a precious and rigorously managed commodity, reflecting the country's ongoing struggle against thirst. With that, we conclude our exploration of Saudi Arabia's curiosities. If you found it interesting, don't forget to subscribe for more information and share which fact surprised you the most.